Let's get started. This is the Felid Conjurer, game number 38, in a world record attempt streak. And, um, well, we're pretty far along. We're doing pretty well. I mean, we have uh, two runes already, right? If I just bring up this um, screen here. Decaying rune, gossamer rune. It's not bad. Our skills are really good. We actually have a stealth manual. I don't know if I'm going to make enormous use of that, but maybe. We're still training about a billion things, but I, I don't really feel bad about that, honestly. Because, I mean, we're, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're already really strong, so we have that luxury. If we keep D-Missile up, I think we can do... Um, I think we can do the rest of Slime pretty easily. We can't be paralyzed by the Great Orbs because we have this MR Plus ring on. We have our core as well, so we have all the resistances we need, really. Um, pretty luxurious, to be honest. I'm actually going to train Stealth to 20 because I have that manual. Here's the downstairs. I think I'm going to pull this dude up. See, he actually tore down my um, D-missile. It's not really that big of a deal. Go down. Go up. See how fast we kill stuff? It's really good. File Clutch doesn't really do a whole lot for us here. I mean, we could use it against Shining Eyes and things like that but it's not going to do much against the jellies. Um, a Fulminant Prism could be handy. Sticks to Snakes, of course, we could... Well, if we had an MO scroll, we could use that to do shenanigans on TRJ, but I think we're just going to use the whole summoning scroll plan on him. Sadly, we don't have the power to, uh, to use nets, but... I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. We have Haste, we have, we have Might, um, we have Agi. Five Agi, three Might, three Haste. We'll burn one of each, and uh, we'll just we'll just go toe to toe with TRJ uh, and probably a single summoning scroll if it wants to be kind to us. Not always. Um, it's not always exactly reliable. Sometimes it'll give you garbage uh, garbage summons, but most of the time it does something for you. All right, here's where BBC is useful. In fact, I can I can go ahead and. Cast some Fulminant Prisms here. Um, why don't we paralyze this guy? Wow, I'm taking some big risks. Here we go. Yeah, that was not good. I probably shouldn't have... Probably shouldn't have tried that. Although, to be fair, statistically it should have worked at least on the second time. Could have, could have probably died there due to our slow speed. Um, send our snakes this way. I don't want that thing surprising me on my way up, you see. All right. We are going to clear Slime 4. As I said, this character is pretty strong at this point. So, um, that's another um, luxury we have. And honestly, we, we always want the staircases, if possible. More than, more than one staircase available to make, to make Slime 5 a little more straightforward. Okay, I have avoided getting any more mutations. Hmm, a lot of stuff coming for me. So we kind of let statue form fall. 
because we want to be faster than all this crap. We're still resistant, we still have D missiles, so the chance of getting tagged at range is pretty unlikely. It worked out. Hmm. Likewise. Use adders to take that out. Still have avoided any mutations. Well, any mutations that we didn't walk in with already. Positioning becomes really important in here for that. I mean, we only have three potions of mutations, so if that... Um, if we got mutated, it could be very bad. We could get teleportitis and not be able to take it off. Three may seem like a lot, but believe me, it can fail. It can fail very easily. Oh, we still attack so slow. Of course, staff form's going to feel a little bit weaker when you can't vile clutch things first. It's still very strong. And getting stronger all the while, these skills. Not bad. Of course, we have a really big floor here, which is actually lucky, um, you know, because if it was tiny, we might not have two staircases, but we have all three. So um, that's really, really convenient. Let's see if we can get a stab on this guy. Yeah. Very good. Oh, come on. <laughs> this, like, we had a chance to do snakes three times, and they just didn't show up in the right spot. So now we have that super, super decay. Super stat decay. I should probably mutate that off, but I'm just, I'm so afraid of teleportitis that I don't think I'm gonna, frankly. Hmm, what's our evokes? 7.6. There we go. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some more mutations soon, perhaps in the end vault even. SLS would be really useful here. But if I recall correctly, I was having a problem with my spell levels. I guess I could afford it now. Um, you know what? We should go ahead and do that. Spire. Spire. I can probably get rid of Prism at this point. Except... Um, well, we don't have any we don't have any amnesia, so okay. There's TRJ. Pull this stuff up. Hmm. I'm going to try to paralyze. It's a little risky. There we go. This is probably fine. What with my um, AC and all, and my GDR. If they're all separated out, that means each hit is subject to GDR, which is a lot better.
expire, blink, blink again, make some snakes, blink. We are, we are running out of mana, okay. Can I fight all this stuff? Probably not. Resistant to electricity. Um, I may have to teleport. I may have to teleport. It's okay though, we have 12 of them. It's just a lot of jellies is all. Oh boy. We actually don't have RF. I guess I could do the whole zombie play, but without, um, you know, without immolation, it kind of ruins the, the whole idea. So I think we'll again just kind of not use, uh, not use Kiku. This is not good. Let's uh, ice blast this dude to death. Hey, Tone Hack. Didn't catch what you did with the para there. Is it a trick to gaming the slime merge splits? Well, if they merge into a big guy, I mean, they all have the same MR as the thing, which is to say they all have low MR. So, uh, Wow, we just gave ourselves teleportitis. It's my nightmare. Okay, I fixed it. Anyway, yeah, um, whether they're big or small, no matter how many are in the, in the pile, they all have crappy MR. So uh, basically, if they, all get, if they all merge into one dude, you can paralyze it, and it just lets you kill a lot of them really easily. I didn't really do that on purpose. It was just did next to me, and I wanted to take it out quickly. <laughs> hey look, it's uh it's Maxwell's coffin. Sadly we can't wear that. Not that we would really want to. Okay, we're gonna teleport because TRJ is right behind. Wow, this is this is a lot of dudes. And we really can get wrecked quickly from this stuff. Um, you know what? I'm going to burn a scatter shot. Kill that blob. The thing is, we can fight just about anything in here one on one. But as soon as we're not talking one-on-one -on -one anymore, we have a bit of a problem. Into transformation. Damn, shining eye. All right. All right, let's haste. Let's agi. Let's might. Honestly, let's let's uh, resist as well, just for another pip of RC. Then we'll go staff form, which unfortunately slows our movements a bit. Get into position. Summon. Perfect. Oh my god. That is the ideal summoning scroll. You want these green guys, they'll all merge. They'll be very hard to kill, and on top of that... Um, well, I was going to say they're immune to acid, but apparently they're not. That's weird. Okay. That's fine, though. He's, he's pretty much trapped there, even though... Um, even though I don't have any nets. So let's... I don't think I've forgotten anything. Let's take him out. Your paws burn, you bite the royal jelly. Swing. Swing. We might be able to get a distraction stab. I think we just did. No, we just did huge damage is all. Naturally, swing again. You eviscerate the royal jelly. Your paws burn. 
mangle the royal jelly, your paws burn, and he goes down. The azure jelly actually um, was trying to take down my very large slime creature, but the other, and, and it actually succeeded, but the other one got the final hit on TRJ. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I think I'll be able to fight this stuff. Kind of, kind of owning me still, to be honest. Uh, lightning rod. I know we're hasted, dude. There we go. Probably don't care about this ring, but let's try it on, I guess. Plus three event, okay. Amnesia, that's useful. Honestly, I, I probably should have come back with Emulation once I found another one. But I mean, I knew we could pull that off, is the thing. So it's like, I wanted the loot. I wanted the loot right now, you know. Hey, push a mutation, sweet. Cause fear, don't really need that. Summon butterflies is neat, I suppose. Pro magic, we can drop that. All right. How would I have used emulation there? So there's a couple of um, there is a couple of there are, there are a couple of gimmicks for killing TRJ, and the one that I prefer is the straightforward just melee summons and then wreck him. Um, in that little hallway, kind of like I did. Um, but another way is with Kiku, you do this receive corpses a bunch, you make about a billion zombies, and then you face TRJ out in the open, and what you do is you have the zombies fight him for a little bit, um, get the surround on him, and then once he starts spitting out uh, blobs, you read the ammo, and then both your zombies and the um, jellies explode. You can also do that trick with, um, with sticks to snakes for some reason, so... Really, anybody can do it if they can get access to that stuff, except for like a trog guy. Um, but I, I don't find that to be quite as re reliable as, um, as just sort of doing it the melee way. It is fun. It's very flashy. Um, but I mean, I, I think it's... Um, what's Kiku give you? Well, you can summon corpses anywhere. Uh, and the corpses are branch specific, but um, slime doesn't really have corpses, so I think it mostly gives you things from your other your other layer branches. Um, so I think I would probably get like hydras and spiders and things. Um, but the bodies, you know, if if I was in like vaults, it would be stuff from vaults. If I was an elf, it would be elves, which is not very strong. Um, but you, then you can use the corpses for things like simulacrum which is really the main use of uh, corpse, corpse delivery or receive corpses because, um, I mean, Simulacrum is a really powerful spell, um, but it's way more powerful when you can use it anytime you want, you know, because it's very temporary. Um, so having corpses on demand is quite nice. You can kill um, orbs of fire with, like, uh, dragon, dragon Simulacrums and Zot. Why do I always jump into these streams a half hour late? Uh, I don't know. I I started almost always the same the same time every time, about eight eight o'clock EST. But um, you didn't miss much. I just did slime is all. Wasn't really anything challenging for this particular character. And now we're going to tab um, tab through vaults, or try to. Really only missed about 10 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's true. I, uh, I was uh, setting up for a little while, trying to fix something. Valid tabbing. Well, when, you're, when you're in stat form, you may have that luxury. I keep forgetting to put D-Missile back up. Miss Malcolm casting D missiles once. 
You missed me forgetting to cast D missile. It's my number one weakness in this game. Forgetting to cast D missile. Oh man, look at all these stabs. It's so good. I just killed a whole pack with stabs. It's awesome. Maybe we'll just take stealth to 27 for fun. The Crypto Kitty was the best one. Yeah, I know, right? I gotta bring that GIF back. Actually, I don't think the YouTube people have seen that yet, so let me just uh, let me just pull him up real fast. There he is. He's my waiting screen cat now. At least for this session. Max Stealth Gang. It's not bad. I mean, it's kind of a meme, but if, if I get talked into doing 15 runes on this guy, which I don't think is going to happen, but it might... Uh, we'll swap to Uskawa and enjoy Max Stealth uh, Extended, which could be fun. Do we have digging? Yeah, we have digging. Let's dig through here. Yeah, I mean, Stealth is really handy. Um, I would say that it's most important in the early game on fragile characters, but um, that is not to say that it can't be handy later, later on too. I'll tell you what I want to do is I want to... I want to Amnesia. Because I'm getting rid of Fulminant Prism. Gone. I'm getting Irradiate because, I mean, of course I want to Radiate. Um, Conjurations probably goes to 10. Just because Irradiate's really good. Why am I considering 15 runes? Um, not, not for any tactical reason. It's more because, um, I mean, typically I avoid it on these streak games. Um, not because I think I can't do it, but because it takes a lot of time. Um, the only reason I'm considering doing it for this one is, is, is um, kind of a... Well, first of all, it's a failed, so it would be kind of funny. Uh, secondly, uh, because... Well, this is, this is game number 38, and my previous personal best was uh, 30... 37 wins, so I will have beaten my personal best, and so it seems like a fun thing to do for my personal best is uh, is to do 15 runes. It's been a, it's been a long time since I've done 15 runes as well. In fact, I don't know I don't know if I've ever done 15 runes on uh, on stream. Probably, probably for CSDC. But no promises. Um, I may just want to keep going. Because if I don't do that, then we can probably get the merfolk started tonight as well. Which would be great. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm really tempted to switch off of Kiku right now. Holy shit. Let's go stab for him. <laughs> In fact, um, why don't we just check, what is, what is Kiku Wrath actually like? Um, Kiku Wrath. Um, it's just Necromus casts, basically, and it doesn't like it when you cast uh, Necromancy spells. You get a 1 out of 20 chance to just miscast instead. And he can torment you randomly, which is painful. That can't kill you directly, but... Hmm. How does spell memorization work? Um, I wouldn't say it's that basic. It's, it's kind of... It's counterintuitive unless you've played a lot of D&D. So you memorize a spell, and you have... Um, you know, you have a certain number of spell levels available, total. Mine's 49. That's based on both your level, you get one per level, um, and your spell casting. And this is like, think of this as the number of slots for uh, spells. So I've used up 48 out of my 49 slots by memorizing these spells, right? Um, so those, those become my spells available. If I amnesia one off, it returns my spell levels to the pool, all right? And then I can use those to memorize other spells. So you can kind of screw yourself if you don't have very many um, spell levels available and you memorize a bunch of junk. 
But yeah, that's true. It would take BVC away from me. Something tells me I'd be okay with staff form. <laughs> I mean, I could still use BVC. I'd just be risking miscasts. Is the amnesia effect random? No, no, no. You, you get to choose which, which one you want to get rid of. Which is very good. Um, in fact, I might get rid of something else. I might get rid of Inner Flame. We really don't need it anymore. And we'll also Amnesia off uh, Magic Dart. Now we have six spell levels available. The reason why I'm doing this is, number one, I kind of want Dragon Form, which is level seven. Just forget Team Missiles. Well, I am forgetting it in real life, forgetting, forgetting to recast it, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna Amnesia that. But yeah, I want... Um, I want Dragon Form, I want uh, Necromutation, I want... I want LRD, actually. That'd be good. Rapid Decon would let me do Crypt really easily. Um, even, even while under Kiku Wrath. Might be a good place, a good way to get rid of Kiku Wrath really easily. I'm just going to stop casting statue form um, for the first part of the fights because we're getting a lot of, I noticed we're getting a lot of stabs. Look at this, that's amazing. Just stabbed a flayed ghost. Awesome. Except eventually they notice you, so you can't really rely on this. It's just a thing that really speeds up fights, I guess. This is one of the reasons I actually really don't like stabbers. You know, you can't you can't build your whole character around stabbing at this part of the game. Not without something to create the stabbing opportunities, at least. And even then, I mean, unless you've got invis, and maybe even if you do, it's not exactly reliable in all situations, so... You would really rather be doing something else, I think. I would, anyway. Nice. It does feel good to get these stabs, though, I have to say. And if I can't get them, I just go stat form and wreck everything. Yeah, pretty much. Um, pretty much. At a certain point, you just have to find something else. It's true. Hey, fellas. Whoa, my stat form ended. What a bad time for stat form to end. So, am I being hit by Disto? I have to be. I am. Okay. Um, okay, that's better. I just didn't want to... I mean, I could get a Abyss done to be fine. Just one of the reasons I'm not looking too closely at that, but it doesn't mean I want to be a Abyss, you know. Hey, Jory. Can I get like a distraction stab? Nope. Don't LCS me. Alright, that's fine. We'll scattershot him for the win. That didn't work. Try again. Holy crap, we're potentially going to die. <laughs> if if he had lcs we'd have a problem, although I do have D-Missile up. Why is he alive? Oh, right. His, his defenses are actually amazing. I forgot about that. Um, do I have Blink? I only have one Blink. Honestly, I'd rather use a life than a Blink right now. So we just acid him, or uh, ice blast rather. 
and walk away. That was a bit of a risky, um, risky engage. I, I didn't, I didn't have to take that fight the way I did. I would say that that was a fault. At the same time, though, I'm, I have the luxury of being a little bit risky. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't be, but it's just I know I have extra lives available. But I really, I really should be a little more careful. Um, hmm. Just say ass blast. We all know why you keep mix, mixing up Acid and Ice Blast. <laughs> I think I am going to go ahead and do Crypt actually under under Kiku, so I can have Dispel Undead. I have Bananas that make someone daze for a couple turns so I can stab into the end game. Well, daze, the daze effect doesn't give you stabs, so you're already, you're already having some problems. Time to use some Irradiate. Well, nope, can't get day stabs. It uh, literally just means that the enemy doesn't um, doesn't act 25% of the time. But I mean, there's really only two ways that I know of to get the day's effect at all. They're they're pretty hard to get. Um, number one is the Holy Word Scroll, and number two is um, Zen Recite. Stab. Having fun with these stabs, I have to say. Oh. Okay, okay, alright. See, ordinarily I'd be freaking out right now because he could kill me uh, with the power of haste and whatnot, but we have D missile and we have extra lives, so. I think I'm just gonna dispel undead on him to be honest. <laughs> this is the part of the game where Felid becomes really, really, really strong. I'm allowed to take risks. The thing is that like I could play more carefully, I just don't have to, because I at any moment at this point I could send myself to the abyss and farm and get more lives pretty safely, just with the skills um, that this character has right now. Although we haven't lost any lives yet. How do fellow lives work? So, you start out with no extra lives, which I think personally is slightly bad design, since you can die so easily at the very beginning. Um, but then later, you get... Um, as you level up, once you hit level 4, you get one extra life. Then as you level up more, you get another extra life. You can only have a maximum of two extra lives at any given time. If you go through them, uh, then you start earning experience um, towards them again, and you'll get more back, again, to a maximum of two. Uh, and that can go on endlessly. You could die an infinite number of times. Um, it's just that if you die and you don't have any extra lives at that given moment, um, see right here, then you uh, die forever. But if you do have an extra life available, instead of dying you sort of disappear and then reappear somewhere on the floor at full hit points and mana. Mm-hmm. This is interesting. Do we know what book this Ancient Lich has? 1% chance of para. Gosh. I may be teleporting. Oh, that's the haste lich. Or it's one of the haste liches. I am totally going to teleport because we got MR slash 2 as well. That is annoying. I'd like to get in here. 
because there's a book available. There's also a manual of fighting, which is hugely important. I mean, that's an amazing find. I didn't know that until just now. That's totally worth the risk in here. Shatter. Huh. Well, actually, I bet with... Um, I bet with a Brilliance Potion we could cast Shatter. Uh, we have 11 Earth. Just barely, maybe? Maybe with these... Maybe with some Ent items as well. Hmm. That's an interesting thought, isn't it? We'd have to amnesia something. I think you were joking, but... It's actually not a terrible idea. I don't think we need it, though. Um, by the way, this dude was standing on the transporter landing site, and you'll notice he got sh sort of shoved away. This is something that I've always wondered about, and I guess I, uh, I guess I know now that it does, in fact, shove things out of the way rather than dumping you um, somewhere next to it. Also, thanks for the follow, man. Oh, two ancient liches. Wow. I am going to acid these fellas. Dispel on dead. This is awesome. Acid wand plus uh, BVC is just really strong. You know, because the problem with BBC often is that, um, or the problem with Acid Wand often is that it misses a lot. Killing the Death Mage first. Unfortunately, the um, his Lost Soul managed to save the Lich already. Interesting. Um, let's, we have to put Statue Form back up. I'm going to swing a few times. What the hell was that? Ghostly Fireball from the Vampire Mage. Okay. I'm going to use one more tally. But this is, um, the real dangerous stuff is gone. The liches, the liches, the ancient liches, everything's dead. So we should be fine now. Okay, come on, fellas. It's rough. Guess I'm just a fragile little kitty. Yeah, that is nice of the game, Tone Hack. I, I actually didn't expect it to work that way. All right, manual fighting. Let's uh, let's train some fighting. Not bad. Not bad. Imagine doing that without Dispel and Dead. I guess LRD probably would have been more helpful. But I'm trying not to use too many spell levels here. Just having through quite a few things. I was going to say Crips is free on this character, but it's a little less free when I'm uh, going through wacky vaults like that. But it wasn't a Zot Trap vault. So, I mean, it's not like it was suicidal to go in there, just, um, just a little dangerous. Oh, can we get a stab on him? Ah, We're just going to dispel him to death. I was gonna, I was gonna have a sick, super sick stab on the curse skull. That would have been fun. That's okay though. We might find some really good loot in here. Not sure how I got this stat damage. Don't have the mutation that does stat damage, so it's kind of kind of confusing. Let's 
Something did it. Maybe a lich summoned a, a guy, a demon. Turn back into a cat, so I run fast. Go back upstairs, go back downstairs, tab. Just getting my hit points back. Hey, my pack is full. I've somehow managed to fill up my inventory on a, on a cat. On a cat. On a cat with no armor or weapons, I've managed to fill my inventory. So we'll, uh, we'll drop stealth, we'll drop magic power. We're carrying a bunch of crap wands. Um, why don't we get rid of them? Don't need flame anymore. Random effects, poly, uh, disintegration, I guess. Poly, random effects, um, flame. Actually, I think I'm going to take Descent. Wasn't there an Ice spell that added SH at one point? That is, uh, that is correct, King Death Rave. They, um, the, th the thing about that is they took it out of the starter book, but they kept the one that gives AC. I think it was called Condensation Shield or something. It's a pretty good spell, if I remember correctly. Oh, nice, nice, okay. Nice Disto weapons. Animated Disto weapons. Anyway, we should be able to tab through a good amount of this stuff. There's going to be an Ancient Lich at the end, but we've already beaten an Ancient Lich, so... If we could take him, we can take the others. Yeah, it was it was a fun thing. I liked that um, you could play an Ice Elementalist as kind of a tank. It's not really the case anymore. I mean, you're mostly just surviving off of freeze killing things really fast. Damn. I was trying to get the stab again. All right, how about this loot? Curing, Brilliance, uh, Book, Phantom Mirror. Have I found Malign yet? No. That'd be nice. Okay, can we get the stab? Uh, no. Game doesn't want to give it to me. But Dispel just sort of, just sort of erases these liches. Can Oka gift Nets? Um, that one I don't know, but if he can, you want to be training uh, throwing to find out. I don't think he does, but maybe. Surprised we didn't find any rings in here yet. You would think that, well, I usually get like three I usually get like three of them out of this place, so it's just a little surprising. But that's a different layout that I'm thinking of. I suspect that the layouts have different kinds of loot in them. Haven't bothered to check this, but it's definitely a thing that vaults can do. Okay, um... Didn't really find anything that interesting in here, in terms of like amulets or rings to equip. But we got some experience, we got some more consumables. Um, I mean, I can't say that I, I can't say that I walked away empty-handed. Net stabs could enable some mid-game stabbing, but there are so few nets. I don't, um, unless the thing is distracted as well. I don't think that nets actually enable stabbing. Um, Certainly they're good for hitting your opponent in the face since they since they wreck his um, evasion in kind of the same way that BVC does, but um, I don't I don't think they give stabs. Okay, we're gonna use LRD here. Kind of hope we get Desolation of Salt. We probably won't. It's kind of rare, but this character is definitely strong enough to handle it. 
And if, you, if you're strong enough to handle something, it's nice to have it. More experience, more loot. Although um, we're, we're pretty much good to go to win the game at this point. Put Team Missile back up. I guess seven spell levels now. If I wanna, if I wanna have Dragon Form available, I can. I am tempted. I am, I am pretty tempted. Mostly for the sake of doing Orbs of Fire, which we don't really have to worry about yet. That stabs are real. Okay. Are you sure it's um? Kind of like, I think it might be like a chicken or egg thing where it's like the net itself doesn't enable you to um, stab, but the fact that they tend to be distracted at the same time um, actually is the, is the thing that's allowing you to do the stabs. I don't, I don't think that if something is netted and not distracted that uh, you can, that you can stab it. Also, there's a lamp available. Let's buy that. Let's buy this para, buy this para. Good to go. This is more of a doesn't he question, I think. If I wanted to be totally sure, I think I'd ask him. Or or code dive or uh whiz mode it, I guess. Nice. How about this fella going toe to toe with Ettens? You don't know how to code dive? Well, using um, using whiz mode is pretty easy. Just um, just go into whiz mode, spawn yourself like nine thousand nets and uh, and a dagger and like twenty seven stealth and twenty seven short blades and go to town. You know. I suspect you will find that that you'll get some stabs, but only when the little question mark is on the tile, aka when they're when they're distracted. Nice. It radiates so good. I mean, it's like I have an axe without having an axe. Makes the game so much more, um, more, more fast, faster, you know. Still not as fast as actually having an axe and tabbing through things, but pretty strong. I should probably think about whether I want to, um, get a Convoker friend, but I don't think I need one. Not as a felon. Honestly, we might, um, we might do... <laughs> this is gonna sound wild, but I, I think I, I think I might do Tomb, since we're gonna have Necromutation available. That could be fun. Of course, we would need some other way to kill things than um, melee. I guess I could irradiate a lot, but that's going to run out fast. Um, oh, shatter. We could shatter. That'd be okay. Yeah, that's right, NG Matt. You heard me. <laughs> Iron shot, that's true. Iron shot's an option. Of course, that, uh, that's very mana-heavy. I don't know, I think I want Shatter Online. We, we might very well try to get Shatter Online. Anyway, um, let's, uh, let's do Vaults 5, but let's think about it. Can I get Death Channel? I could get Death Channel. We could have a good bit of fun, uh, Death Channeling here, but I... Th 
think instead, I think instead we're just gonna we're gonna do our usual stair dance thing until it fails. Especially with a radiate available. I mean, come on, look at this. That will make the challengers sweat, or the challengers sweat. Uh, so I don't think anybody who um, wants to copy this streak will necessarily have to do six runes. Go down. Torpor snail has changed into something else. Sweat, sweet, whatever. You know what they say, a rose by any other name is just a sweat. English can get confusing. That's true. I hear it's uh, one of the hardest languages to learn. All right, well, we've cleared out the center, more or less. Oh, I lost a missile. A little noise there with my radiate. I don't even care though. Oh, oh, oh now I care. Um, radiate, radiate. It's almost time to tally. I have RF though, why don't we MO this stuff? Beautiful. Going to Ice Blast. I want these two, uh, yeah, I wanted the priests dead. That was the big deal there. Gonna ask this dude to kill him, and we're gonna go up. We made a good bit of noise, and honestly, I'm happy about that. I just want to pull more things. How about that? Well, isn't that something? The lich actually stopped me from dispel undeading me by slamming a. Uh, a shadow fiend in between me and him. So we BBC'd him and now we're going to acid. There we go. There's a lot of uh, torment available there. D4 Spriggan's Knife Seed, that sounds fun. Although honestly Spriggan's Knife would be better if it, uh, instead of making every stab a sleep stab, if it just guaranteed stabs, I mean, maybe that would be overpowered. I don't know. But honestly, I'm, I'm more or less okay with, with that kind of thing. Like, um, a somewhat overpowered unrand, because it's, you know, there's no way to guarantee you're going to get it every game. So... Well, okay, so when something is sleeping, there's you're basically guaranteed to stab it. Um, whereas when something's confused, there is no guarantee that you'll stab it. Are you telling me that it, that it guarantees it's going to be, every time you attack something when they're confused, it will not just stab them, but also sleep stab them? Is that, is that what you're telling me? It does every time. So you never hit... Wow, we just tried to BBC around us and it just didn't work. Let's file a floods. I want to heal wounds, but I just don't have very many. We have D missile up. This isn't as bad as it looks. Let's cast regen. Damn. All right, fellas, we're going to fear. Fear again. 
See, it's not working on the ogre guy. I will slam a heal wounds. I will scatter shot you. I will enslave you. Anyway, um, even goes I distract you like an instant death machine? Really? That's wild. So you're telling me that you could just one-shot basically anything with confusing touch? That's incredible. Oh, hi, Mark. Unfortunately for Mark, I, uh, I have this kill hole. Yeah, I hadn't used it, so I didn't, um, I didn't actually realize that's how it works. So, um, that's really cool, man. Suddenly I want to have a Spriggan's Knife game. I mean, I still don't think it's, um, probably as good as doing something that's not stabbing, but at the very least it sounds fun as hell. Wow, this would be a nice place for an emulate. Do you want the seed? No, that's all right. I uh, I don't really play seed games. I mean, maybe I could have someone if someone wanted me to, but generally, I'd rather um, rather be streaking. Eighty-eight. Oh, did you get me? No, statue forms just ending on its own. I'm gonna have to drink a magic. I really want that Quicksilver Dragon dead. <laughs> That's why I was willing to do that so many times. You may be wondering why I'm here getting hit by three things and not moving backwards. And maybe I should be, um, but I'm trying to kill... I was trying to use the lamp, get really good use out of that to um, take out these priests and things. Make it over help good Emma would be here. Gotta keep regen up. Let's get strength. I can always tell the mark is gone. Um, <laughs> like we <laughs> we aren't trapped here or anything. In fact I think I, I think it's about time to telly. Large rock hits you. Wow. At Mark, he's in chat. Oh no. Say hi to him for me. I mean, that had to be most of the floor. We've, we've, we've slaughtered an awful lot of dudes on this floor. Nice. Did not mean to get that contaminated. I don't want to burn a cancel though, so we're just going to have to see if we get owned here. Did I? Not really. You make it so Telly will always transport you out of line of sight, or is that too overpowered? That is definitely too overpowered. Um, teleport is a very finicky tool, and I actually enjoy that. I really, I really like the fact that Teleport forces you to use it wisely. So it's like, if you wait until the absolute last minute, um, if, if you wait until the absolute last minute, and then you teleport, the game punishes you. Whereas if you, if you teleport when you kind of anticipate there being trouble somewhere down the line uh, and it screws you over, you, um, I mean, yeah, it is, it does feel pretty lame when you teleport on literally the same square or like three tiles away. I guess I could maybe take that out, but I definitely don't want to make it safe insofar as like if you teleport 
I don't ever want it to act like felid, um, felid deaths where, where it's supposed to plant you somewhere relatively safe. I want it to be completely random because that's, I mean, I don't, I don't know. A lot of people might get the idea that I don't like RNG in games. I actually really like it. I want it to be something that the player takes on, you know, willingly. I don't want it to be something that the player just has to deal with. I want him to feel like, you know, I made a choice to roll, to roll the dice here and now I'm, I'm being punished because I did it at the wrong time. You know, and then you make the player feel like they made a choice, they, they put themselves in that situation, um, and the reason this is meaningful is like suddenly your player feels real good because he's like, well, what could I do better next time? And there's an answer to that. Whereas, um, you know, if, if you are just sort of shoving your player down shafts randomly and he gets dumped into a, a really out of depths vault, um, the answer to what could I do next time suddenly becomes, well, I, I could not play Dungeon Crawl. You know, like that's, that's, the, uh, that's really the only thing that I could do to avoid getting shafted into BS vaults. So it's like there's, there's good RNG and then there's bad RNG. In my opinion. Hmm. Get emulate. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Blinking. Telly. Summoning. We're just burning through all of our gold. I guess we're not swapping to Gozag today. Tons of shops. Wow. There's even more. No way. Wand of Clouds, Acid, we can't even afford these now. Ice Blast. It's wild. Um, boxes of Beasts, okay. More Ice Blast. I guess we're acquiring gold if we get an acquirement. I had secret plans to swap to Gozag, I really did, but that's that's not happening. Take the haste. There's more haste, actually. Unbelievable. That is... That's an awful lot, I tell ya. And even more. I don't think I've ever seen this many shops on a Vaults 5. Tons of haste for sale. Just, just a lot. I mean, wow. Put all this stuff on my shopping list. There's acquirement. Teleport, uh, fear, summoning. Wow. Blinking. Although we already have six blink. And yet another shop. Okay. Stunning. And to make you spend all your money. Yeah, it certainly wants me to, and this is actually even even another another shop. Although there's nothing in this one that I want except for the summoning. Go ahead and go ahead and buy that. Okay. Okay, you guys. We almost have 27 stealth. I just kind of did that for fun. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll ascend with the ninja title. Is there a symbol available? We don't even have symbol available. Need to replace the center shop with a Gozag altar in your fork. <laughs> I see. Alright, um, I guess I'll just keep on keeping on with Kiku. Godrath could be pretty annoying on this dude. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? You want to see me swap to something? Certainly not Jeevya.
We already killed TRJ. Spriggan's knife gracefully combos with everything. Awesome. That is surprising to me, to be honest. Yeah, no, that would do it. I was imagining um, confusing touch since it's so easy to apply. Single target um, kills really, really easily, and then goes act distract as well. Start off a, a chain reaction, you know. Well, that's the funny thing about unrams is you 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 get attracted to them. You're like, wow, I really um, I really like this item. I uh, I want to find it more often, and then you don't see it for like 50 games, and you forget that it, that it even exists, and you start to wonder if it is even still in the game anymore, like if it got taken off from, from version to version, because they're just so rare, you know, and there's so many of them. Okay, this is the bad, uh, this is the bad one, the bad hell. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get uh, Garyon's horn like I often enjoy doing. But could have an annoying time here. I had hoped for the one with the walls that are like right next to the staircase. See if we get pushed off or not, though. So now you guys are making me want to play a Spriggan's Knife game. Nice. Gary on's dead. I made a lot of noise, though. Oh, hey, buddy. You're a Hellion. Um, uh, we're in a fog versus you. Oh, my God. Really? Well, we could have died there. The fog just didn't do what it was supposed to do. <laughs> now, now it's working. Um, put on regen. Drink a few curing. 37% um, para? That sucks. Yeah, worst, worst fog indeed. He can get two, possibly even three Hellfires on me. This is, we're definitely at risk of instant death here. So we are going to Holy Word is what we're going to do. To instantly kill his ass. I am not used to seeing um, Hellions in here. Typically there's not too many of those in here. Give me the horn. <laughs> Alright. That's all I came in there for. Not for, like, some kind of extended battle. I will say this about Kiku. There is one passive thing he's doing for me, which is um, sometimes he's blocking torments. Which could be handy. Nice. Dragon Stab. Well, it didn't want to let me stab this whole group. Would have been fun, but... Even at 27 stealth, you're not going to have much luck tabbing your way through things um, in depths, which is another reason why it is silly to just rely on nothing but stealth. You really have to have a way to create stabbing opportunities. Check this out. I'll kill all the log arts. 
with BBC. You fall through a shaft for two floors. Two floors, okay. Hope I don't get marked. <laughs> Welp. When's the last time you did depths in the proper order? Probably never. What is this crap? Okay. Can we just discuss what just happened? Are you guys seeing this? Look at where I've been shafted to. You notice anything special about this room? You notice... You notice anything interesting about this floor? Like maybe that it's cut off from the rest of the floor and there's no upstairs? And actually if I didn't have digging, I would have to, or telly, I would have to, I would have to go down instead of up. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna dig our way to safety, but, um, what a disaster. <laughs> Saw D1 Abyss the other day, how'd that happen? Disto weapon on D1? Oh yeah, that's true, I could farm the Abyss from here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, let's get the stab on this guy. Nice. I'm gonna dig into here. We have a ton of digging, I can be wasteful with it. Regen. Go up. Oh no. There was an entrance to the abyss on D1. Uh, what? I assume it was blocked off somehow. Um, tone hack. I mean, the thing is that, like, sometimes those things are obvious because there's, like, it's like a vault you might recognize. In that particular case, it wasn't, I don't think. Um, but the way you would tell, well, I was going to say the way you would tell is by staircases, but the only thing in there was a hatch. Um, so, like, there's always three staircases up, and there's always three staircases down. But sometimes there are no hatches, sometimes there's, there's one or maybe even more. So, uh, no, I think to answer your question, there, <laughs> there is no way of knowing without uh, magic mapping or digging around or getting shafted, apparently. That's kind of interesting. That's an interesting point to bring up, actually. <laughs> well, it, it had an abyssal, but the thing is that the abyss entrances, there, there's like a bunch of those. Now, I will say that on certain... there It's like guaranteed to be on a certain depth floor, so if it had taken... Uh, if it, if it had taken its place there and there were no other entrances, then you would know something was uh, something was up. But I think the guaranteed abyss is on depths three, not four. I'm not sure though. Well, I'm glad we didn't get shafted into the middle of uh, the slaughter boxes vault. Yeah, generally things like that are just like the level gen system messing up. I amnesia anything. Um, I already learned Dragon Form, and I know I'm going to want to use it, but I actually really want LRD. No, we don't, we don't need that. Let's take Transmutations to 20, I guess, and just walk up here. Dig. And just fight it. There we go. My instinct was like, oh, well, I want LRD because it's a statue and that kills it fast at... Um, smite, smite targeted range, but um, it's just not necessary on this dude. Let's train more spell casting. Uh, I normally would, but we're already training like a million things. I just don't want to um, spread myself even thinner. I agree that is the um, obvious solution, but I mean, honestly, I want to end this game at max uh, stealth and pretty high unarmed combat and really high evocations, so maybe soon. Maybe soon, though. But, like, LRD is more of a luxury at this point. 
than anything else. Interesting. I think I've seen this exact vault during that game, during during this game. Do I have ammo? Yeah, I do. All right, fellas. We're gonna acid wand. Perfect. We certainly could have died in here, but when I say we could have died, I don't actually mean died. You'll notice I'm playing riskier, doing doing things I normally would never do because I'm a cat and I have all these extra lives, you know. Like ordinarily, I would not be in such a bad situation, so to speak, in terms of like, oh, well, things can one-shot me left and right. On a beefier character, I'd have enough hit points to survive multiple LCSs and things. But, um, no such luck on this dude. But we've got the extra lives to fall back on. Honestly, I'm a little surprised we haven't lost any <laughs> with how reckless I've been playing. But hey, man, I'll take it. Honestly, if there was one spell that I was going to take out of my entire uh, memorization list, I think it would be Death's Door. I could have some fun with that. I think we just found a ring. Okay, found a couple rings. EV plus 3, strength plus 6, no thanks. Um, the ring, forget me not, MP plus 9, strength 2, dex 2. Um, both of those are not very good for this character. On Felids, you really have to get your resistances under control. All right. Part of the problem with this vault is uh, like there's so many little turns and monsters around every uh, every corner. Seems to take a little longer than you would think it would. It's not exactly um, well. I was gonna say it's not exactly hard, but sometimes you will get I think huge packs of caustic strikes in here which can be a big problem if you don't play properly. If this was a weaker character, perhaps I'd have to drag some of this stuff. Um, hey, there, there's our friend right here. Speak of the devil. I know I'm not in stat form. I wanted to attack faster there with my radiate. Okay. Maybe I can get some one-shot kills on some orbs of fire. That'd be cool, right?
Oh, we got a um, we actually got a distraction stab on the on the mage on the on the vampire mage, but he didn't die. What a, what a shame, right? You get less damage on those, is the thing. Nice. All right, that is um, depths three. This is a kind of weirdly creepy looking map. Reminds me of the um, <clears throat> Act Four of uh, Diablo Two. Like in the center would be where Diablo comes out. Whoops, steam missile fell. Whoops, getting owned. Mm, we have a ton of blink. Why don't we use one? Get regen going. All right. Sort of a very, um, very convenient spot to do some stair dancing if need be. I'm a little surprised that they're able to do so much damage to me, to be honest, in stat form. Character feels less tanky than it should be. On the other hand, uh, <laughs> well, we don't have a shield, so that'll always make a character feel weaker. I guarantee you that's, that's what's giving me that feeling. It's like things are, things are hitting much more reliably than they ordinarily would be. Of course, if I were to, if I were to train more dodging, I could fix that. Why don't we turn dodging on, actually? Okay, we got stealth to 20, uh, 27. We are officially a ninja. Not bad. So a lot of stuff is available that we can purchase now. Um, I could even buy that acquirement if I wanted to. But I, I think I, I think I'm inclined to swallow up all the uh, the haste potions. That is by far, by far the best resource in the game with respect to the late game anyway, but really, really the entire game. Okay, I had a para, para wand. Ah, baby's first floating eye. He gets stabbed. Get some stabs in here. Nice. It just looks like my cat is just erasing these guys. I mean, just like, whoop, and he's gone. One, one click. It's great. Hey, buddy, you are a juggernaut. Okay, he is BVC'd, he is uh, irradiated, so his AC and his EV are both nerfed. Now we'll just melee him down, which apparently I can do. Did not mean to contam myself that much. That's the one downside of irradiate is you will eventually cast it one too many times, and you may do that a few times. Okay, let's go, um, first things first, let's purchase this haste. Having more buffs is um, pretty crucial. Nice, 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 okay. Anything else for sale that I care about? Um, actually, I guess I care about the summoning the most. Yeah. 
More scrolls of summoning, not bad. Be nice to have some more holy word, but two is pretty good. Let's go to depths five. Sot is to our right. You can tell because it's this um, this vault that's like a big triangle. Has three entrances. If this was a character who was um, for any for any particular reason trying to avoid draconians and that kind of stuff, Zot monsters, I would probably exclude that stuff off. Although again, we're super powered, so. We don't really need to take those kinds of uh, precautions. How's our dragon form, by the way? 16? No, that's D missile. Dragon form, 7%. Not bad. Part of why things are hard to cast for us is um, we have this mutation. Your spells are a little harder to cast, but more powerful. I don't really care to mutate that off, though. It's actually kind of helpful. I get more AC from stat form. So ultimately it's a good thing. Even if it is keeping me from casting dragon form safely, that's changing pretty fast as I get T-moots up. Nice! We just got an instant kill stab on Frederick. Very good. Here's another one of these guys. Same play, BVC, irradiate, and then swing. Did we win? Pretty much, yeah. We're about to, anyway. We've gotten four runes, and we're about to go into Zot. How many deaths? Zero, my friend. Very charmed felid here. Let's dig this out. I guess if I wanted to, I could roll into this ziggurat. Um, is there even anything that we need other than experience? Hmm. You need the, the Zig rune? No, I do not need the Zig rune. Time to swap Jeevia? Sorry, I killed Jeevia already. Said 15 rune celebratory run, right? I, I said maybe. Um, I'm leaning towards no, but if people really want to... Um, if people really, really, really want to see it, I can do it. Um... I don't know. Uh, it'll take a little while. I guess I'll leave the Zig for now, and we'll just go into Zot. We'll full clear it. You want to see this Felid 15 rune? I see. I see. Well, let's uh, magic map. If you die, it will be even more... okay. <laughs> Red into GB sounds pretty good. Um, Kiku is not that terrible to swap off of, although you'll have to deal with the occasional random torment. Oh man, I just stabbed this entire pack of Draconians almost. All right. Very good. How are my skills coming along? Slimeify helped with liches and clowns? Yeah, I imagine. I mean, I would swap to GV right now if I hadn't, um, if I hadn't killed him. 
you know. Magic mapping. Um, yeah. Magic mapping. I'll dig. No, I, think I agree with that entirely, um, Anani Badger. Stab. <laughs> I was waiting for everybody to show up. I knew they would. This is still less guys than I was expecting. Ah, I've been blinked off the staircase. What are good gods for mages? Sif, Gozag, and what? Um, you pretty much named the two good ones. Um, Rue is okay for it. You can regain mana if, if need be. Um, yeah, 25 is above average for the stream, man, man. Although I've had I've had more than that. I think people just like to see the felid. It's I've noticed that the harder combos get a lot more viewers. Swap to Trog. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, Kiku is probably the best god for most mages, depending on your aptitudes. Because he's the one that always gives you an extremely straightforward path to victory. Um, I mean, I think I would go Gozag above that anyway, just because Gozag's so outrageously strong. But, um, you know, that's, that's not to say that Kiku's not good too. You guys want me to swap to Usk right now? Because we could. No, I'm not swapping to Gozag. I, I can't afford it. We have 166 gold. He wants like 4,500. What, um, out of curiosity, what, what species would that be? Spriggan? Minus two aptitude. Hmm. G-R-E-E? -E. Yeah, they make really good Gozag guys, actually. We can drop this uh, Ring of Pro Magic. We have an Amulet of Faith, but uh, I don't think we're going to take off this plus 10 int amulet anytime soon. <laughs> How much food do I have? Um, I have a ton. Enough to last the whole game easily. Um, but without the gold, I literally cannot swap. I know I'm marked, by the way. Strength, we are now level 27. Yeah, you do want to wait until you have three or more rations. That's actually really, really good advice. It's like, it's pretty rare for you to get screwed over in this way, but if you take him on D2 or something and you only have one ration, it's it's not outside of the realm of imagination for you to starve to death. Which is why an early, um, an early altar can be kind of a death trap, you know, for unsuspecting newer players. We just found Ring of Robustness. Sadly, I don't think we can use it, um, because, um, <laughs> we need the MR, we need the RF+. Plus. Yeah, if only we could wear that gold dragon armor on this felid. Oh well. I'm going to dig. Hey, we found Malign Gateway. It's interesting. I don't think we need it, but it is interesting. 
Hmm. Well, I think I actually am going to switch to, to Uskawa. If I clear out Zot 1 through, through 3, that should get us probably most of the way through the Wrath. Keiko just isn't doing much for me right now. Like how the auto travel tried to bring me a very uh, through a very direct route into places I hadn't explored yet. All right, this should be fun. You sense decay. All right. Train invocations. Focus it even. Why is he so good, Usk? Um, he's just a lot of fun, more than good. Um, he'll let me do some fun stuff with my 27 stealth. I mean, I'll just, it's easier if I show you. So, um, my, my invocations matters a lot. But check it out, like, I just fought for a little while and now everything is paralyzed. You know, suddenly I'm at full piety, and I can confuse this thing, although I don't have, uh, I just realized I don't have much invocations, so it's not going to confuse them for long. Usk with Radiate is fun, that's true. But yeah, at a minimum, I think we will get the Abyssal Rune. only because we'll want to get this Wrath off. It's just really cool. I like how he ends fights. Stab, stab. Probably shouldn't have BBC'd there. Oh boy! Oh god! Okay. That's not good. Um, that's really bad. We came out of stat form at the worst possible moment. No, not grand finale. You need you need way more uh, invocations, and I don't have mana as well. Actually, we could die here, but it's it's not a problem. We just uh, we'll just we'll just get to use our life, you know. I'm going to agi though. There we go. I'm actually going to... Is this guy almost dead? Almost destroyed? What's his defense like? Shitty? We can scattershot him to death. Perfect. Probably should have done that first. And then we can fog. Just walk away. I'm unsure how it is that I have minus 3 AC, actually. How is that po Oh, it's because I'm corroded. Shit to do. That is correct, Dinky. Closing that door. Well, the thing the thing about that man, man, is like if I ever lose a life, I could just go to Abyss and farm it and get my life back. Um, which is why I always say that felids, once you've gotten them past the early game hump and the mid game hump and the late game hump, actually, but once once you've gotten to extended. Um, once you're able to farm Abyss, they're, they're, they're basically unkillable um, if you play properly. Because, because you can stack two lives. Of course, that takes a lot of um, discipline to do that. To play that way. Probably is the safest play, I guess. Okay, Kiku sent some zombies after me, and I just did not care. Probably should be going for stabs on these guys, I guess. That is to say, not going statue form. Okay. 
Kiku should have done that earlier. No, -uh. <laughs> I don't think so. Invocations is coming along, surprisingly, considering I'm training so many things, but, you know. How's our dragon form? 3% still yellow? Dang. Ah, look at that. They tricked me. Nice. Uska's starting to do some fun stuff now. Get that share pain, stab one of them, they all die. Perfect. Really good. I love these random paralyzes. And it'll only get better from here as my invokes increases. Should probably stop casting Necromancy. I've been BVCing here and there, and I just did my first regen since abandoning uh, Kiku. Probably shouldn't do that. That's a 1 out of 20 chance to miscast randomly is not so good. Oh, hell yeah. Curse to stab. Nice. Well, I see that I got bamboozled again. Everything woke up immediately. Oh boy, look at that. What a wrath. He dumps pestilence on my head. He torments me. And he summoned dudes next to me. And I didn't happen to have statue form up. Did it again. Except he didn't torment me this time. And again. Not bad, though. Kiku seems upset. Well, I did sort of take his Necronomicon and then abandon him. Honestly, Kiku's probably annoyed. I, I worshipped him and then proceeded not to use his uh, use any Necromancy for like the entire game. Uh, we have abandoned Kiku, NG Matt, and we are worshipping Usk, and I might yet be talked into doing 15 runes even though it's going to take a good little while, possibly all night. How butt mad is Kiki? He's pretty butt mad. He's not, he's not pleased. I'll say that. He keeps tormenting me and then dumping pestilence on my head, or uh, miasma, rather. Truthfully, though, his wrath isn't that bad. It can't outright kill you, like I said, which is good. Oh yeah, we're going to get the Abyssal Rune. <laughs> oh man, Uska is so fun. Oh, at least 200 uh, DDARs, stinky. It'll be more DDARs than anyone else has ever played. Yeah, I guess NG Matt, although at this point in the game it's not really um, meaningful. Whoa! Wow, we just got blinked into a Zot Trap, which then confused and teleported me. Fascinating. Zom indeed. Okay, did we already do Zot 4? Yeah, we did. So we're not going to walk into Zot 5 with Kiku, with, with Kiku wrathing, uh, wrathing us. So we're going to, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get this. It 
Did I see a way down? Thought I saw a way down. Artifact amulet. Wow, what an amulet. I mean, we can't use it. We're currently getting four strength out of our... I mean, I don't know, I just can't use that. I'll take it with me, but we're not going to use it. I can't give up ten intelligence and spirit shield for the sake of RC++, RN+, and uh, MR. It's a great ring, or a great amulet, rather. But I can't, I can't swap it. Well, there's a way out, but I, w I don't want to go out. I want to go deeper. Oh, I actually just dispel undeaded that lich a bunch of times. Shouldn't have done that. Because remember, Kiku doesn't like it. What did you say last night? Are you talking about the um, never dropping the amulet? Oh. Ha ha. Okay, little demons. As a fed house altar, should we convert? Just kidding, you can't, uh, you actually can't safely abandon Usk because he will, uh, he will, uh, stun, he will, he will paralyze you. Guess I could just fight things until I get a way down. We've already found a way up from experience, so the rest of our portals will be down. Sometimes the Abyss is stubborn. Perhaps this doesn't bode well for trying to find the rune itself. Also, D-Missile has been off for who knows how long. How's that wrath? Still dark red. Not worried about being malmutated? Not really. We have six. I think it's six, maybe more. Yeah, six potions of mutations. So, I mean, yeah, not, not really. Uh, Kika Wrath, I mean, I don't know, Is it, I actually don't know this, uh, do the gods even have different amounts of time for their wrath? Because I don't, I don't think they do, but maybe. I know it's like slightly randomized for how many times they'll act. I don't think the Kiku, uh, I don't think the Wrath enemies grant piety for, for Usk. That's true. Ru is always zero. Hey, we found the rune. It's in here. Just have to get to it. There it is. Silence, huh? Yeah, that was quick. We had trouble getting down here, but once we made it, it was very fast. A little worried about the silence, I guess. Wait, that's the specter. Statue's running out. Come on, baby. There we go.
There's the way down. I guess we'll just keep it going down until we uh, until we find a way out. Maybe I'll take a trip into Pan. Why not? Should be fine. Or one of the Hells, even. Although I'm less inclined to do Hells under Kiku Wrath. Wow, we finally found Simulacrum. That would have been worth perhaps keeping Kiku for. Nope. You know what, just for fun, do I have the tools required to do pan? Uh, kind of. Kind of. No, NG Matt, it's, uh, it works the same way even without the rune. Um, all, exp all experience exits are downstairs after the first, except for if you're on um, Abyss 5. And then it's, then it's just exit, an actual exit. Hmm. Pan could be annoying. We have Holy Word, we have Blinking, we have Fog. Yeah, whatever, I'm gonna go in. This doesn't necessarily mean I'm doing 15 runes, I'm just hanging out here. One thing I haven't been using to block off mutation is uh, Spire. Hey, buddy. Hey, Panlord. Summon eyeballs? I don't think so, man. Not today, friend. Well, the funny thing about Hellion Island is, uh... It wouldn't actually really kill me. Boom! Stab on the Pan Lord. I actually killed the guy to my bottom left first, because I knew I would get enough damage to paralyze the Pan Lord. Kill enough Pan Lords, there won't be any left for the Zot Run. If only it worked that way. Wouldn't that be cool? Could have died there. Our D missile had actually fallen. Dude. Alright, we'll fear. Digging. This is harder than I remember. Mostly just because I'm a cat. Keep regen up. Kiku is pretty mad still. Huh. <laughs> Well, don't uh, don't don't count Ooh Scout yet. He's pretty good. Although yeah, obviously going um, going TSO is going to be more more safe. All right, guy. <laughs> Just like getting a nice rest is difficult. Miscast Lightning Spire, okay. Of course it's the it's the wrath that's doing me in here. That's really stopping me from resting resting. Not just uh you know pan. I already killed the Pan Lord. So we know there's nothing, you know, too big left on the floor at least.
How's that wrath? Hey, it's light red. Soon to be done. That's correct, NG Matt. Let's put a spire here. Locking mutations. Bro, there's there's so many shadow shadow demons. LRD would be handy here. Oh, I noticed. I just realized. Man, man. Thank you for the heads up. I spent uh, one more turn out of it than I wanted to. And that, that alone can screw you very badly in extended. Hmm. Let's acid these guys. Don't mutate me, okay. Dang. How does this god work? Um, all right, so he has a very unique mechanic to him. Uh, his piety, you'll notice it goes to one pretty much all the time. When I'm fighting, it quickly goes up. And then once it hits three pips, things around me get paralyzed for a minute. Um, and also sometimes they'll get share pain so that when I do damage to one thing, it does damage to everything on the screen. You can imagine how this becomes very powerful very quickly. And all of these effects happen more often and uh, last longer if you have more, um, if you have more invocations. So he's definitely an invocations god. On top of that, you have an active ability called Stomp that lets you do a little bit of damage to everything around you. Uh, line pass, and by around you I mean I mean immediately adjacent, like a radiate. Um, line pass lets you travel in a line through any number of enemies, uh, confusing them along the way. It's kind of cool. So like here I'll use it, and it acts as sort of a weird blink. I end up on the other side, and then he's confused for a second. It's pretty cool. And then grand finale, if I'm at full piety, I can tell a, or I can blink directly into somebody and kill them, like explode them, Unreal Tournament style. Which, as you can imagine, is pretty nice. How many uh, cancels do I have? Just three? Does it work with Zot? See, that's the thing, and that's one of the things that makes Usk so cool, is that yes, it does work in Zot. So you get a janky kind of blink, C-blink even. You just have to use it right, you know? Like that scene in the Matrix? Yeah. That's, okay, that's pretty cool. Is this, um, this is not a rune floor. Oh, okay, well the demon rune is here. Welcome to Holy Pan, guys. Um. Okay. Let's dig. Let's cast regen. This is kind of annoying. <laughs> I wonder if I can... No, not really. We're in the wrong part of the floor. Let's grand finale this dude, killing him instantly. Boom! So the message is cool. It says, uh... The Deva explodes violently. <laughs> you blow up the Deva. Right, so this kill hole is not exactly ideal, but I think it's the best we're going to get. Stat form, back up, please. Can blow up people with Serpent Slash, I don't know how. Uh, are you sure about that? Do you mean that you can, just, you can just damage them with it? What is Wrath at? Um, there's only two settings, really. 
the one is one is high and one is low, so it's been at low for a little while. So we should be done within a, within a, within a, within a, within a few more um, rafts. These mighty boys are going to be rough for this kitty. Yes, yes, they are. No, it doesn't go yellow. Not not as far as I know. Yellow looks like Siuskawa is yellow. I think that means I'm currently worshipping. That's really interesting. I haven't heard of that with Serpent Slash. Okay. I guess this is at least a new place to be, uh, you know, a new a new place to see on the stream, since we haven't really gone into pan this entire streak. Anyway, this little temple here has a lot of smitey guys in it. So we'll teleport if need be. Close the door, put up regen. Damn. Um, I'm going to lamp these fellas. If these are the only two that come out, we're probably okay. Here's the horn. I'll ice blast. Remember, I have a ton of blink. Ice, oh, there's, there's a third. Okay, okay, goodbye. 14 digging left. Skip the smitey temple, the loot is useless. But, but man, man, do you well and truly expect me to give up loot when I can, when I can do it? Does it have mutation potions at least? I, I forget what they replaced it with. I mean, man, BVC, BVC plus swinging, by the way, our wrath is over. BVC plus swinging kills these guys pretty damn fast. Curing and heal wounds, well, well, hey, I only have six heal wounds. I think I need more. Six is not enough. See, he hasn't even noticed me. Oh! So he was he was just distracted, not sleeping or anything. We we one shot at him with a distraction stab. Feels good, man. And we replicate the feet. So we got one potion of might out of this place, one potion of cancellation, and another potion of might. I think this was worth it. No healing, oddly enough. Oh my god. Usk makes this... Uskawa makes this look so easy. I need to kill this Deva fast. There we go. Yeah. Um, stabs do amazing damage in Honey Badger. Hello, Carl and Marks. Did you know that I cry? when angels deserve to die. How much damage would you do if you had 34 strength and 12 int? Uh, significantly more, I guess. If you want to experience the high strength Uskawa adventure, you gotta play an ogre. His self-righteous Omnicide. <laughs> Don't you want to attack more with Usk? You, really, you just want to do a bunch of damage with Usk is all that matters. If you're if you're doing your damage, you're... I mean, yeah, obviously it's... I guess it's ideal to attack faster because then you... you get more chances to exploit the... Uh, paralysis, but... Be a, be a stat form ogre. <laughs> Uh, 
Hello. Nice try, Pearl Dragon. Game doesn't want to let me rest for some reason. Anyway, I'm going to fully explore this place because there's often good loot tucked away in little corners. And at a, at a bare minimum, I am going to get the, uh, the rune. Demonic rune. It didn't announce it, but it, it never... I don't think it ever announces the demonic rune. Or maybe it did and I missed it, but this particular layout is very, um, very much not random. And if the demonic rune hasn't spawned yet, it'll always be in the center. Um, I should probably drink a flight, huh? Okay, we're going to grand finale to get some distance here. Put stat form back up. I might have to telly. Yeah, we have to telly. And heal wounds a bit. Could have been a bad telly. I'm glad it wasn't. Heal wounds was just because I was teleporting is all. Um, that definitely wasn't like a long-term survival plan, it was just to make sure I was safe enough to get out, so to speak. Kind of wish these angels would stop spawning, but they never do. I guess I'll get a ton of experience for this, but it's not really what I'm here for. Um, on the other hand, it, you know, I have tons of things to train. Run out of stat form in an inopportune moment there. What I should be doing is I should have regen up. Um, well, it's a it's a flat it's a flat amount. All right, hold on. Let's go ahead and kill the seraph. How about that? That'll be fun, right? Stab, 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 radiate, where's the Seraph? There he is. Hey fella, um, I need mana. I'll drink a magic. I'll grand finale you. Goodbye. <laughs> Seraph explodes violently. <laughs> Sucks to be you, nerd. Great. There's the rune. Guess I, I can identify this ring. Wow, what a ring. We don't need it, but what a ring. AC plus uh, 4, RC plus plus plus, strength plus 4, and synth. Yeah, books, dispersal. Dragon's Call, Freezing Cloud, eh. thought there were exits in this room too, but I guess not. This auto explorer is so weird. Actually, I want to go to all the different loot piles, but... Game just doesn't want to take me there. Um, Ambrosia. I'm actually going to go Dragon Form. Which is a bit hard on my defenses, but. Alright. 
This guy's ruining me. Um, <laughs> wow, look at that. Sad day when the uh, the, the Appies or Appis or whatever can kill me. Seems like he's a lot better than Rue. Uh, he's more offensive than Rue. He's less defensive, I would say. That's that's how I would phrase that, I think. So better. You could certainly make that argument. I don't I don't I don't think I would disagree. Let me put it that way. Are you really living if you're above 50 hit points? Nope. Let's fog this crap. Oh, come on. There we go. Para. Honestly, I don't need the loot in here, dude. Let's just leave. We got the rune. This is fine. Our skills are getting out of control. We almost have 15 um, invokes, actually. I mean, what do we even need the loot for? We've got all the items we'd ever need on this character. We could marginally improve on them, but it's it's really not really not likely. This is um, this is the disco vault. This actually can have the, um, this can actually have the, uh, demonic rune in it, but we already have it, so. I fought him out of stat form on purpose, I, I just wanted to kill him faster. This is not um, a rune floor. I could magic mapping. We're, um, we have a lot of them actually. Can we get the stab? Nope. So what are you looking for in Pan? I was just getting runes, honestly. I'm not looking for anything really at this point. I came in here to get... I came in here just to get Wrath off. And now that we're here, I, I think I might have been bamboozled into doing 15 runes. On the other hand, I just remembered I haven't been bribed to do this, so... I don't know about that. This is Manoleg's floor. This is where I should magic map. Oh, believe me, I'm not that close. Um, <laughs> it takes a long time to do to do the hells, man. Formas would make it a lot faster because you get to shaft down, but... For the most part, it's, it's a slog, and that's part of the problem with extended in this game. It's cool, we have seven mutations. We actually have uh, Berserkitis, which blows, but it's fine. Guess I will go ahead and get the... get the rune here. Which, by the way, should make you immune to mutation when you get the glowing rune. Did I actually go into his vault? Did I spawn inside? Yeah, he's up here. I'm actually going away from him, where I was. Yep, there he is. Immune to negative mutations. Oh, so you only get positive mutations? Well, that, that seems broken as hell. 
Okay, so he summoned the Malign Gateway, that's fine. We're not getting piety for fighting this crap, because it's fake. We're waiting for him to come along around the corner. Do we have... no, we don't have it yet. Um, why don't we... why don't we go in Viz, actually, so I don't get tormented. Swing. 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 We could merge with him now, but I don't think I have to. I'm just going to swing. Got him. And then we will grant finale into the Cacodemon. Um, that's kind of messed up. Why is that still alive? I guess, I guess Malign Gateways stick around, even if their casters are still, uh, have, have been put, have been put into the grave. That is, uh, that is new. That is new information for me. Okay, um, let's drink a mutation. I want Berserkitis off. Now we have Telaitis. Now we have Frail and Telaitis. Now we have Frail. Now we have Low Magic Capacity. I'm okay with that one. Different region of Pandemonium. Wow. This isn't ominous at all. I think we avoid that. Take this telly. Take this heal wounds. Sneak. Sneak like a kitty cat. To this portal. Don't avoid. I want to see it. It's just a pentagram with a panlord in it. There, I've spoiled. I've spoiled what was in it. It's a random panlord, so not really that much fun. Okay, we'll go staff form. I probably should have been in that immediately. Here we go. Curse Skull was, was having none of my shenanigans. Uh, wow, all right, let's lamp. Come on. All right, I'm gonna drink magic so I can irradiate. Get my stabs, finally. That was a lot of executioners, and wow, there's more, okay. How's his defense? He's mutated now. Uh, we will scattershot him for the kill. Get regen up. Am I really living if I'm above 40 hit points? One more skull. Yeah, I figured. Honestly, I'm surprised that I, I can't just tab hasted uh, executioners. Just crashed through that skull like a truck. So, given all the really tough things, this is clearly um, Glorx's lair. He's gotten really frisky with double tormenting me there. Let's um, BVC him. Let's acid him. Let's acid him again. Radiate. Take a step, take a step. I'm gonna lamp here. That's not bad. That's exactly what I wanted. I, I knew that I was so close to getting the para. Um, so I was hoping he would take a step up and then the fire would, would get him with the para. And that's exactly what happened. It was just enough damage to push, push my piety over the edge. 
I didn't know for sure that that would happen. I thought it, it might have happened when I did the lamp, and he was just he would be like a tile away from me, which would have been slightly more annoying, but still pretty good. Show spreadsheet. I mean, I don't know. It was just the fact that I was at two pips of piety. I didn't do any math here. Okay, we'll rest up. We'll go in. Hoosk is indeed top tier, man. He is so good. All those fights that you think you're going to have trouble with, he just ends them. If you can survive a quarter of the time that it would take to kill them normally, you can probably kill them. I haven't even shown off all the cool things, the positioning tricks you can do. You know, like leaving a fight. Leaving a fight with Grand Finale. Uh, how many pan runes are there? There are two more, so uh, five total. Demonic, glowing, dark, magical, and fiery. So we have Sarabov and uh, uh, LeBron James left to uh, left to beat. Yeah, we've we've run into yet another team in Demonic Rune Vault. Of course, it's not here since we already got it. Pandemonium is the laziest branch? What do you mean by that? Let's MO this stuff. Alright, Mr. Panlord, let's look at what you got. Dispel Undead, Symbol of Torment. Eh. Summon Minor Demon, uh, Bolt of Cold. That's not bad at all. Are you resistant to electricity? No, you're not. He is, he is good at dunking on you. You might say that he is a big baller. Shot caller. Okay, so I, I blew my way in here not because I was trying to just have fun with a pan lord. Uh, but because I thought the exit was here, but uh, I guess I was wrong. Could have made proper branches instead of lumping four runes on the RNG branch and calling it another rune. Yeah, there are an awful lot of problems with extended Anani Badger. Honestly, I, I don't really understand why extended exists. It's padding is what it feels like to me. How close am I to being done? Um, Aramant, it kind of depends if I decide to actually go all the way with the 15 runes. Also, welcome to the stream, man. I, um, I might just leave Pan and go win. We've already pretty much cleared Zot, except for Zot 5. Um, but yeah, we have, we have 8 runes collected, so it's actually 7 more runes if I was going to get all 15. 2 more Pan, and then the entirety of Hells. Sarah Bob's in here. Oh, you've been here just lurking? Lurking secretly? Character's barely growing and extended. Well, he's, he's growing more than you think, um, because I'm focusing my experience on, um, on invocations. It's kind of, kind of silent in the background, the power that he's gaining. Um, but he is gaining power. Oh, you mean with the streak, I see. Oh, you mean the streak. You want to know how long the streak is? Uh, well, this is game 38. So I have uh, two, three, four, five, five more games until I match the streak, and six until I beat it. Permanent pip of RF from this rune. At least that would give you a reason to do extended, you know. Some kind of mechanical... Motivation. Grab his blade when you kill him. Why? So I can stick it in my mouth? What am I going to do with that big hulking blade? As a cat. Sarabov has, um, Dinky, Sarabov has a sword that 
does RF minus. It's the plus six sword of Sarabov. It's a trophy. Um, Totary, we are in Pan, sort of for fun, um, but we'll probably be leaving Pan soon. We need to drink a resist. We actually need to drink a haste, but we're going to drink a resistance first. I want to. I want to do a fog, but at the same time. There's that, uh, I want I want this stuff to be paralyzed. So let's do this. One more should do it. In fact, this should do it. Whoa, okay, maybe not. Should have hasted a while ago. Game streak of plus one has to be a felid chaos knight. <laughs> I don't know about that. What should I do here? I think I'm gonna drink magic. Because things should get paralyzed really, 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 really soon. Doesn't seem to be happening though. Are they sharing pain? Yeah, I got share pain instead, that's the problem. Okay, we'll do this. Grand finale, 12%. Bye bye, buddy. <laughs> We're getting owned. We're getting owned now, well, holy word. How about that? Do I know how to put on a show or what? <laughs> 24 hit points, 4 mana. Holy word to finish him off. That's pretty cool, right? I enjoyed it. I don't know about you guys, but I enjoyed it. We'll take the sword, I guess. Leave it on the edge. I mean, to be fair, I, I get to I get to stretch a little bit and have some fun like that um, on this character because I have extra lives. But I would never do that on like a any anything that's not a felon. Got an artifact ring. RF plus, RC plus. Hey, this is really interesting. Okay, okay. Um, this could replace, in fact, this does replace my plus stealth ring because I get another pip of RC. That doesn't, um, doesn't really change much, though, does it? Yeah, I guess that doesn't change all that much. I was getting excited, and then I remembered my my MR Plus is uh, coming from my RC ring, not my RF. But hey, it helps against Lebr LeBron. LeBron James, the Icy King. The Icy King of B-Ball. Clay Sheet versus uh, RC++++. Rhythm Kitty. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? We were worshipping Kiku, but we were not really using his uh, his abilities at all, so we bailed on that. So I'm just running around looking for the exit. There it is. Part of the problem with Pan is that there's no um, guarantee you're going to find an exit to the entire floor or uh, or your next rune anytime soon, which is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons I stay out of Extended, to be honest. There's a uh, exit to this floor. I know we actually had a an exit through the abyss just now, but I'll at the very least I will finish Lam Loban here. Although actually killing him may be annoying. We may have to get clever. 
with the way that we do it. That's assuming the game wants to actually give me... I mean, we've been dumping... We've been sort of flying through these floors. Hey, there it is. Okay, we're here. Body sometimes deteriorates upon taking damage. Damn. This run is so different from any other run in the streak. Used to not I'm getting to like 80% and popping Tella. Now he's like, I have 24 hit points, so I should get Paris soon. See, it's, uh, I'm having some fun. Air magic. Huh. Alright, air magic. It's interesting. I don't know if we'll use that. Um... I guess we could get higher D missile uh, spell power. A little late in the game for all that. I should drop descent. But yeah, I mean, I highly recommend trying one of these guys out, a fellow of Usk, in the extended uh, part of the game. If you want to have the, um, the kind of fun where you're playing risky, but you're not really playing risky, you know? I can't believe that I can't throw... that I can't throw things. Let me show you exactly what it is I'm going to do with Sarabov's sword. You drop the plus six sword of Sarabov, you hear a splash. Now, Ignatio is hilariously rare. I farmed Pan for a very, very, very long time during the .22 tournament, I think, if I remember correctly, just trying to find Ignatio, and I don't even think I was the one on our team that found him. Yeah, how do you like that, NG Matt? Hey, come on, I, I, uh, it's like I'm insulting, I'm insulting Sarabov by throwing away his sword. I sense an unsubscribe coming soon. <laughs> Come on, we have his rune. That's a good trophy, right? Oh, crap. There's a lot more stuff in here than I thought. This is both good and bad. LeBron is the one that worries me the most out of all the Panlords, so we're actually going to burn a haste for him. And we're going to BVC over here. This is cool. This is going to be a good way to gain piety. Let's just swing on the wizard. I guess... Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, check this out. We're going to blink in there. Read emulate. That's not a terrible idea, but I'd rather... I'd rather blink into... Yeah, okay, he's still he's still paralyzed. No, NG Matt, don't die. How can I revive you? Alright, see, so we blinked in because he's still paralyzed, and then we swing and he just dies instantly. Bye bye, brother. <laughs> it's it's really good, man. Usk is really good. I told you guys, Usk is my favorite god to play as, or to play with, in this whole game. Teleports behind you. Nothing personal, kid. See, that wasn't even a telefrag. That was just like blinking and stabbing him. You never choose him, you always go Gozak. Well, I'm talking about extended, um, and I'm talking about for the purposes of having fun and not, not for winning. I mean, Gozag is my favorite if I'm just trying to win right off right off the bat. But, I mean, Usk, Usk doesn't do nearly as much for you at the beginning of the game, but he absolutely does amazing things for you in Extended. I, I would say that Gozag certainly does more, um, but Usk is just so much fun.
Free run is sure. I mean, it works. It's just um, less powerful than Gozag is all I'm saying. Okay, let's take this abyssal exit. Twenty nine. 29 tellies. A lot of skills, man. Almost 20 invocations. We started at zero. Of course, we weren't training invokes on Kiku. What's wrong with Kozag? Hmm. Oh, he doesn't let you instantly teleport into people and kill them. That's one fall, uh, one flaw. Not as fun or as fun to watch, I'm sure. Suddenly pulled to a different region of the abyss. We already have the rune. We should be finding an exit pretty soon. That is a lot of views. Wow, awesome. Okay, we'll find an exit sooner if we go down. Hey, Lentils, what's up, man? We've done Pan, uh, is what's going on. Extended Felid during the 37 streak. I was asked to do this by a number of people, and I'm, I begrudgingly have done Pan. Uh, also, I guess I'm the one who suggested it in the first place. But it does, it does take a while. I'm having a lot of fun, though, if only because of my main man, Usk, here. We've been doing a lot of really sick, awesome, nasty telefragging. Hey, there's our exit. Alright, what do you think, you guys? Should I do hell too? You guys want to see me do hell? Hell will let you be dumber than normal. That's true. He certainly he certainly lets me take some crazy risks. All more cat gifts. You're going to have to live with just this one. There he is. Just end it. Yeah, that's the thing, is that going through hell takes an awful... It takes an awful long time. Let's go ahead and do Zot 5. That cat does worship Usk. You can tell because he is dancing. I think we all want that arcane. Oh man, Usk is so strong. I think we just got the, did we get like a miniature? A miniature Zot 5? Maybe not. Let me exclude this off. Yeah, I'll map here in a second. Magic mapping. Wow, that is not as small as I thought it was, but still, still pretty dinky. Huh. Okay, well that just means that I'm not very likely to tell it out of the lungs. Ouch. Acid uh, from the Zot Trap. Look at that one shot on that golden dragon. Damn, that wasn't even a stab, he just died. That's so sick. Well, the thing about Hells is like, if there's less RNG in terms of, you know exactly where the rune, um, well, where the rune floor is, it's at the bottom. You know, seven, seven floors later, you're good to go. Um, but the Hell effects can really really ruin your day, so to speak. Grand finale. Killing an orb of fire instantly. Come on. No, 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 no. Um, what's the defense on these dudes? That's actually pretty good. Let's uh, blow the horn. 
Oh, nice, our, our para kicked in right at the perfect time. Sick. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drink magic. Put my D-missile back up. That'll help, won't it? Stupid, uh, stupid ghost moth here wrecking my mana. Stat form ending soon. Got the clown. Try 8x. See, I don't know. It just, it just depends. If you can get some good luck on the hell effects, you can you can dive you can dive like a madman. Um, if you have if you happen to have like a gigantic stack of magic mapping, that helps too. Dragon time. And blinked. What am I doing? I should just be doing this. Nice. So four radiates and then that triggers the para. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Dragon cat indeed. Nice. We just got a distraction stab on the ancient lich. Look at all these uh, exclamation points here. Good stuff. Nice, couple stabs. This looks like these guys are sharing pain. Get stat form back on. So strong, so strong, this BBC stat form combo. Plus Usk. Probably the most fun thing in the entire game, that, that specific combo. Hey buddy, I think you got the wrong door. I'm the boss of this gym, and you're acid blasting me over and over. I'm just gonna swing, swing again. There we go. It eviscerated the entire scene, it's true. I mean, this just makes you feel like a like a ninja warrior, basically. Just tear the whole game apart. Nice stab on that orbifier. fire. I see that I've been berserked. Trying to get the best use out of this zerked dragon by killing everything. Uh oh, slowed. I'm gonna swing one more time. Yeah, kill the lich, good. That was fun, living on the edge. Oops, let's irradiate. Go stat form, kill the statue. This has been a very packed, um, extremely, extremely packed Zot 5, I have to say. Oh. Zot traps everywhere, blocking the orb chamber even. Wow. Because it's such a small Zot 5. You know, I think you may be onto something. I think you are correct, friend. Actually being really dumb by uh, fighting next to this Zot trap, but it should be fine. Check it out. Let's, uh, oh, we don't have enough ma uh, magic to grand finale. What a shame. Zot trap is scary. I'll use my felid pounce. Something reaches out for you. 
Hope it's a cute girl. Okay. Uh, we're frail. Drink mute. Okay, I can live with these mutations. I didn't want to live with frail. I even have I even lost a life? No. No, I have not. Despite my madman plays. All right. I think we uh, we actually have to tally out of this because it's like I don't know. It sucks either way. So. Oh hey hey we have acquirement. That's a good book. Manual translocations, okay. <laughs> Alright, tally, one, two, three, grab. Tally. Okay, we'll read another tally. Take this tally. Perfect. Why can't Felids wear hats? That is a great question. Well, that was fun. Normally I would juke a Seraph, but we just slaughtered him instead. Let's go up. Usk gives you very interesting options on the orb run. Because suddenly fighting all those pan lords that you would otherwise just want to not fight starts looking pretty sexy. I mean, even the very fast silence pan lord, he's gonna get paralyzed. You could be silenced and those those passive abilities will kick in. So um, you can imagine how cool it is when the pan lord, you hit him a couple times, he goes paralyzed and then you just kill him. There's fog here. Totally juke that shadow demon, or uh, shadow, shadow fiend rather. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna go back. Usk makes stabbing work. He kind of does, yeah. Kind of. Um, I want to end transformation. I'm trying to cast regen. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to do here. Let's juke this guy. Yeah, no way, Aramant, no way. Got a pan lord. Armed with a distorting touch. All right, um, this seems like a good place for a holy word. He has a lot of good abilities. We will dig. We will leave. Probably didn't even need a holy word, but whatever. Fog. Up we go. Go up. Hmm. I see. Yeah, it is a pretty packed orb run. Um, this one's interesting. I'm gonna go stab for him. I'm, I'm gonna let him torment me a bit. And transformation. Hey, we got the exit. GG, you guys. That is um, that is a new personal best. Fun stuff. 38 games in a row. Not bad. And not too many games left. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Tonehack. Thank you, Dinky, Arcane, Totary. Felids are so sketchy. Celebratory dancing cat. Oh, yeah, we can... We can make him... We can make him big for us. And before someone sues me for showing their cat. Um, anyway, um, the next game is Merfolk Assassin. I think. Streak. Elliptic. Um, Felid Conjurer, Merfolk Assassin, Ghoul Warper. Vampire Ice Elementalist, DD Sue, and Tram. Okay. Yeah, Merfolk Assassin. So we'll go ahead and start this and see what the entrance looks like. We've got the, um, I think this is supposed to be Quake 3. 
I could see the light at the end of the tunnel. Soon Malcolm will be free from this game. I hope so. So, we'll, uh, who did he die doing? Uh, Spriggan Enchanter. He died in depths somehow. Um, oh, this is weird. Something strange has happened here. Elliptic must be playing again. Because the last, the last thing I just... Dude, this is weird. Every time I've brought up his record, he has, it's said he's won his last three games and it was three Chaos Knights. Now it's he's only won his last game. So he must have actually... I thought he had stopped playing Crawl. If I stalk him, that's a command. Um... Oh, there's not a date for that. How about um, LG Elliptic? He plays on Kelby. He's gonna he's gonna come back for his record. Well, I'll be damned. He played yesterday or today, actually. Huh. Well, hell, hello to Elliptic. If he ever sees this video or, or drops it on the on the stream, I gotta do that one to beat him. Oh yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do the Spriggan Enchanter at the end, and that one, that's a crapshoot, man. Uh, D D one especially on a Spriggan Enchanter, you might think it's easy because you can walk away, but uh, I don't know, man. He uh, that that uh, plus one dagger and Corona will only take you so far. I mean, it's rough. You'll die pretty fast to most of the things on the floor. Even um. Even a jackal pack can do you in if you're, you know, if you're if you're stuck in a hallway, it's no good. Yeah, you're just not very good at, at fighting things on that character. So I'm not looking forward to that. But honestly, if I lose the spin, I'd be totally cool with that in terms of, you know, I will have accomplished my goal of at least matching the streak. Um, with that said, obviously I want to win. <laughs> I'm not I'm not setting out to lose, and uh, I think I think we'll be fine if the game is just slightly kind to us. But let's not count our eggs before they hatch, because we've got this merfolk, we've got this ghoul, we've got this vampire, deep dwarf, and troll, all of which are either pretty strong or outrageously strong. However, um, as we've seen from the old D3 acid wand, Ijib, D4 acid wand, wizard surprise, uh, and or D4 centaur surprise, the game is, the game is very... Uh, you know, it's very willing to screw me over. So let me um, let me stop this video here. So YouTube people look forward to the Merfolk Assassin next time. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.